Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today, we're going to be talking about something a little bit different. Um, we're going to be talking about the 9.1 changes that are on PTR right now. So, I'll pull them up really quick. There's been quite a significant amount of changes here. So, first of all, Dark Pact Absorbed Shield has been increased by 216%. That is really significant. This is like the third time they uh, buffed Dark Pact. And it was already usable before in certain fights. So now I think it's really, really good. Like, especially if there's any fight where there's a lot of damage happening, you're pretty much always going to take Dark Pack most of the time. Uh, Burning Rush is really good for mobility, but we have Soul Shape now. So we don't need Burning Rush as much in many scenarios. So Dark Pack is even stronger than it is now. Um, and it gets even better. The more health we get, the more stamina we get. Um, Dark Pack just scales way, way better. So um, definitely be on the lookout for that in the future. Um, Destruction. Chaos Bolt damage increased by 10%. This is like the third time that they've buffed Chaos Bolt. Um, it, hits, it hits okay right now. It's like not crazy damage, but it's decent. Um, another 10%. This could mean a lot in the future, depending on how hard we scale in the next raid tier. Um, if we're sitting at, you know, 30-40% haste, and, you know, we're able to scare our mastery and our crit pretty high, then, you know, destruction can definitely be the go-to spec, especially after the affliction changes. So, um, the Chaos Bolt damage, really looking, looking good. Um, destruction is definitely in an okay spot right now. This puts in a better spot, and especially forward, more secondary stats, more intellect. Destruction um, may be the go-to spec. Depends on how the fights end up playing out. We'll have to see in the future. So here we go for Affliction, the big changes. Malefic Rapture damage reduced by 18%. So this nerf that they wanted to do, you know, earlier at 9.0.5, they ended up going through with it for 9.1, it seems. Um, however, they are making buffs to other things, which is good to see because back in 9.0.5, they were just planning on nerfing Malefic Rapture and making no other changes. So they have been listening, I guess, for dot damage. Dot's not doing enough damage. Agony damage increased by 20%. That is a ton, like 20% damage on our main dot. Um, this opens up a lot. So what this is telling me is they don't like the way Malefic Rapture currently scales with how many dots you have, even though that's the point of the entire ability. What it's saying to me is that we might be able to go right in Agony kind of as our main talent row, in this talent row. Since the extra dot and the 18% damage is not as much as like extra Agony stacks would be, and just the 20% damage bonus on it may open that up to just this being like the go-to talent, right? We'll have to see. I mean, it's just kind of a theory. But 18% is quite a big nerf per dot, right? So we'll have to see how that plays out. They finally ended up changing Shadows Embrace, making it about four seconds longer, but it can only be applied to one target at a time. Um, this is an interesting change. I'm not sure if I like it. This is basically how Contagion was back in Legion. Um, Basically, Contagion was a talent that you picked up that it gave you, like, I think it started off at 18% bonus damage, and then it got nerfed to 15, and then it got nerfed to, like, 10 um, whenever you had UA on the target. So it was just, like, a flat-out damage increase to all damage, which is what Shadows Embrace is. However, it being applied to one target at a time is new, and so basically they just reworked Contagion, called it Shadows Embrace, and put it up to stacking instead of, you know, applying it to UA. Um, I think this is an okay change. Uh, I don't like it because it it puts Affliction more into the single target type of style that it already is. Um, yes, Affliction can multi-dot, and it's good on, like, lots of targets when you can get multiple dots out and such, but... This is pretty much just tunneling it into a single target spec. Um, next up here, folks, we'll see our conduit. 
nerfed by 53%. So I don't know the actual number on how big that 53% is. So if we look here, it gives us 20% or 24% increased damage at 226. We have to keep in mind that at higher levels, so when we go into the next raid tier, whatever the item level may be, this will also scale up. So 50%, 53% is a big, big nerf to this. We'll probably still take it just because we don't have any other damaging conduits. You know, we have Roll and Agony, which increases duration, Corrupting Leer, so maybe we can use this instead, but I mean, there's real, we don't have many options. I mean, they are planning to hopefully add new conduits, um, so maybe we'll end up changing down the road, but as of right now, I mean, it's still probably our go-to. It's just bonus damage, but Overall, that was a massive Rapture nerf that I wasn't really expecting. Um, you know, this is a brand new ability that they brought in, and they're already kind of destroying it. So I guess we'll have to see where it goes from there. Um, and here's a Sacral Lash rework. I think this is more targeted towards PvP because it, it's very rarely used in PvE. Um, back in Legion, this was the go-to legendary for Affliction. You know, you'd pull the entire dungeon and then you'd kite everything with Sacralash with the 60% slow. And yeah, I mean, that just isn't the case now. But in PvP, this is the legendary that you have to use as a Warlock. Um, so now I think they're trying to swap this playstyle so that you have to apply, you know, Curse of Exhaustion to everyone and Corruption. And then that way you kind of have that permanent slow but it's more work than just hitting corruption and getting that slow. Um, I don't think this really affects PvE at all. I mean, you sometimes could run this in key, but in general, you aren't you aren't running it too much. And now it's like an extra mechanic that you have to do when you're wearing it. Um, basically, if you wanted to have this effect work, you have to use Curse of Exhaustion most of the time is what you're going to be using it for to slow the mob and then have permanent corruption on it, right? So in PvE, it kind of, it just gives you an extra button to press, um, but in PvP, since corruption isn't permanent, you know, you have to kind of like reapply it. So it's kind of like a rework. It doesn't change too much. Um, and I added this section here of Covenants. So we get new renown levels, which is more stamina, which is good for Warlocks, like I said, because it scales a Dark Pact. And for Demonology, it scales with, you know, the pets and damage and such. Um, and we're going to have three new conduit slots. So an extra potency is interesting. We'll have some new traits. Not sure. We don't know yet if those are going to be DPS or, you know, kind of like random traits, whatever they may be. And one capper trait. I'm not really sure what that is, unless that means like at the bottom. Yeah, unless that means like here at the bottom row. I'm not sure what these are called. But um, yeah, having a third potency slot would really be interesting because that would mean we can run focus potency. If we're in single target, we can do cold embrace and we can run corrupting leer or something. So we would be able to have potentially two minute timers on our dark layers, which would be nice while maintaining our haunt, right? So that opens up some interesting options, having three conduit slots. I'm kind of surprised they haven't nerfed Night Bay at all. I hope they don't, because I really don't want to swap Covenants, because that's just like annoying thing to do if we don't have to. But, um, I mean, Nia is still really, really strong for us. So we'll see if they make any changes to that. But yeah, I just kind of want to give my thoughts on this kind of early stages in 9.1 that we're at. Uh, Affliction, pretty much pure single target spec. Hopefully Destruction is good and we can end up having like a really powerful spec. We'll have to see how scaling ends up. Because um, if we are, so for example, I'm at about 20% haste, 80% mastery here. You know, if by next tier we're at 30% crit and like 30% haste or whatever, Destruction can really pick it up and damage it might be like the go-to spec. 
like I said earlier, depending on how the raid bosses kind of play out and if there's a lot of movement and two target and such. But um, yeah, Affliction, the changes kind of like make it even more of a single target spec, kind of like what it is now, but even enhance it more by Shadow's Embrace only applying to one target. And I mean, we may not even take Siphon Life anymore. Because the buff to Agni might be better, but I guess we'll have to see and let let Sims do their work and see what happens. But these are kind of my initial thoughts on it. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. See you in the next one.